Hi, this is Tammy Cromer Campbell coming to you from TCC Photo Gallery in downtown Longview, Texas at 207 North Center Street and on the web at tccphotogallery.com. Thank you so much for being with us today. Today's podcast is titled Evelyn's Photographs by Scott Canterbury Campbell. And on this call today, we have Scott Canterbury Campbell, who's a commercial photographer and a fine art photographer. And we also have uh, Keith Carter, who is a, as many of you know, is a fine art photographer and a uh, professor at Lamar University. And he's also a, a very prolific artist. Also on the call, we have Roy Lukinger, curator of photography from the Harry Ransom Humanity Center at the University of Texas in Austin. So I guess we will get started. Scott, could you tell us a little bit about Evelyn? Oh, okay. You start off with the hard question. Well, the, the project, I think, was a natural evolution. A lot of people come up to me and ask me, why did I take these photos? And to this day, I still there's, think there's some wonderment there that I, I really don't know the absolute reason why. I've got several guesses as to, but it was a situation that was hard to deal with. The situation also allowed these images to happen. Uh, I, base, I blame a lot of it on my father. He wanted to keep the house intact, and, and so we almost had this museum of a house there that we kept revisiting, and it was almost, I would say, a, just a deep primal urge for me to attempt to document the work. It was, you know, an extremely difficult situation. You, you've lost my mom, if anybody knew my mom. She was the, the greatest woman that ever walked the face of the earth, as far as I was concerned. And to lose that, you know, what do you do? What do you do? And so I think it was just a, a, a primal survival skill. I started working on the project with absolutely no intention of it even being a project. It was it was just a reaction, I think. It has evolved into a, a body of work that I I enjoy showing to other people. And that's what we'll be uh showing at your gallery this next week and I you know, there was one other theory to it all that I had was when I was Last night I was going back through some of my photographic archives looking for some images of my mom while she was alive to show some images in a slideshow presentation I'm going to give. I started realizing that I sure did photograph my father a whole lot more than I photographed my mother, easily 10 times more. And I wonder if there's almost some guilt there, you know, that I missed out on photographing her as much as I would have liked to. And maybe that is the trigger that started this this project. There's 26 finished pieces that are in the show, but there, there's a, a variety of diptychs and triptychs. So how many total images? Do you know that? Um, I don't know offhand. Uh, I thought 26 was a good number. It was mm -hmm. something I learned. I don't think it was at a Keith Carter photography workshop. It, it, <laughs> Maybe it was Ruth Bernhard that said a, a collection of photographs in one collection should be about like an alphabet. And her father was a, a, a typeface designer. I think 26 is, a, is just a, a unique number, and it, and it just worked out that way. I didn't originally plan that, but I, I'm very happy that I could edit it down to the 26 finished images. It is the, the first time I'm showing any triptychs or diptychs. I think a little bit of Rufus Lovett has rubbed off on me over the years. He, of course, uh, is known to show a lot of his work as diptychs and triptychs. Mm -hmm. Keith Carter, would you like to add something to this? Well, I, I would say that I'm unable to speak to the psychoanalytical uh, part of what motivated uh, or, or what happened to Scott on this photographic journey, but I can sure say that I um, just feel really blessed that he did the work, a uh, memorable, uh, solid, uh, lovely body of work. And when I first saw it, uh, the only real work that I had been familiar with had been uh, his large format landscapes uh, of that haunted Cattle Lake region. And, and I was just completely uh, taken with the intimacy uh, and the respect and the sort of 
LJ quality of these things. And, you know, for somebody who, who really loves uh, short depth of field for reasons I won't get into, when I looked at this work, it, you know, it, it, it uh, was a, uh, reinforced a profound realization of, uh, of you know the beautiful descriptive power of of a Lynn in that he has most everything in focus, but it was what he chose to focus. And I think it was somebody. I think it was Paul Strand who said, you know, it's not it's not what you see that really counts. It's the significance that you see in it. And and I'm paraphrasing. And the significance he saw in these. Um, bits and pieces in this house, you know, this haunted house. Really, uh, I, I, I felt really moved when I first saw them. I thought it was the most beautiful uh, body of work I've ever seen Scott do. Uh, the, the second thing I would say is, you know, with respect to this this project started out one way and uh, evolved and has morphed into something else, I, I think that's often the case with, with projects. But what he did here that that uh, not everybody can do. It really takes some intelligence to pull it off. This could have been such a, a sentimental project. And in the art world, in which at least the part I dwell in, uh, you know, sentimental things are the kiss of uh, death, so to speak. And, you know, they're not sentimental. They're respectful. Uh, you know, beautiful use of light. Um, he, he's always elegant when he you know, composes things. Uh, it's a, of large format training, but I just think the work is uh, lovely, you know, and it's a little ironic that it, contemporary photography is practiced, you know, in this new century is really, you know, uh, about issues. On the other hand, you know, the search for beauty uh, is just huge in our lives. He found beauty and LJ qualities and, and the most uh, profoundly simple things. Uh, I'm thankful for the work. Well, thank you. Um, Scott, did you have anything else to add? No, I'm pretty good right there. I, I keep the checks in the mail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I think it's you know, just, uh, powerful work. It always has been. And uh, 26 is a good round number. <laughs> and, you know, these things have a, projects, in my experience, just take on a life of their own. Uh, some things can go on to be, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 photographs, and some things just need to stop at 26, you know. So, uh, you know, you should be really pleased that you did that. And there's so many so many of those. I 